I'm Sankit Amakar. I'm the Vice President of Innovation and New Ventures in Flex. And that's basically the part of the company that we work with customers to co-develop new product, new innovations, and then help them take that to market. There's three areas we see a lot of trends happening. The first is the changing in platforms. We're looking to see that going from smartphones and wearables as being platforms on which we will be developing technology to now evolution into AR, VR, as well as smart devices. We're also seeing connectivity change from where we are today with cellular technology to now moving towards 5G capabilities and low power WAN capabilities. And then finally, from a smart intelligence standpoint, we're seeing much more with artificial intelligence and data analytics to get us to machine learning and prescriptive analytics. So if you look at the IoT, there's really three parts to it. One part is connectivity, which is internet. But where the real value is happening, because internet's been there for 20 years, that's not the new thing. What's really new is the devices are getting smarter. There's more intelligence going into the devices, the machines, and the systems. And that's part of it. Plus, also, you also have to look at the data analytics and the cloud. So when you take all of those together, it's a combination of smart plus connected plus solutions to become what we call the intelligence of things. If you look at the IT space, you really have to look and say which are the different sectors in which there's opportunity for new solutions and there's a need for new solutions. So for example, in digital health or in connected automotive or in smart energy or in um, wearables and connected home, there is just so many different opportunities. If you focus over there and try to solve problems, such as for example in the case of where we come from, from a supply chain standpoint, with Industry 4.0, or with the whole evolution of the supply chain to be much more automation, much more capabilities, that's really where we would recommend companies start looking at for where to grow. Sure, so two things I would suggest. One, of course, is Make sure that you're going out there looking for a problem that is worth solving. Don't focus on the technology and trying to look for a solution afterwards. Because when you do that and you have a problem you're solving, there's a much more collaboration, much more opportunity to leverage resources to help you bring that to market. The second thing is for the technology that you're bringing to market, make sure your focus is really on advancing it and having some secret sauce there. Because then what happens is don't try to build a complete product around it. When you do the technology, then you can look at companies who would like to integrate that and bring it to market for you. So essentially you get to route to revenue much more sooner, you get a route to market much better, and you will be much more successful in that approach. So that's a very good question. So, uh, one thing definitely is if they have a key technology, a key solution, bring it to the larger companies and show them what the use case can be, what solution can you potentially bring to market, because they can aid in helping you, guide you, and even helping mature the technology to bring it to market uh, for the solutions that they're building. The second thing also is that if you have a unique product, then there's a lot of opportunity to bring it to market. and. Over time, if you have something very unique, I'm pretty sure many of the companies will eventually like to acquire you as well. So those are the two things I think are definitely worth considering. So this is actually our first time at IoT Asia, and what we found is it's been very fascinating, both in terms of the discussion, the engagement, and also the maturity of the technologies and the solutions that we're seeing in the marketplace. So it gives us a lot of confidence that there's definitely a lot of growth opportunities and very valuable networking that can happen over here.